channel. I am doing a makeup tutorial today. It has been a very, very long time. I actually can't remember the last time I've done a makeup tutorial. So I wanted to do something colourful and I'm feeling very inspired now to do more makeup tutorials. Definitely going to do more makeup tutorials, that's for sure. So today I did like a pinkish cranberry type look I was this is really fun it's very dramatic very colorful definitely not something that I wear often I normally stick to my neutrals but I really wanted to go outside of my comfort zone and play with some colors so that's what I did I used the Morphe Sweet Oasis palette I've only used this once on camera before and it was using like the um aqua shades and I love that look that I created so I thought I was like oh I see that and then I see the pink so I was like okay I'm gonna try using the pink shades today so that's what I did I pretty much used all of them because I'm someone like if you've got all these colors it's only gonna make your makeup look more dimensional the more you mix and match so why not take advantage of having all these beautiful colors in the palette so yeah that's what I did and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I've not done this look before. I had it in my mind, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. And I hope you guys like my channel. If you want me to do more makeup tutorials, let me know what type of make makeup tutorials you'd like to see. I'm more than happy to do that. So please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because this is a long video, but I'm showing you everything like from start to finish. So and I'm also showing you like my full coverage foundation routine that I've been doing lately. So that's why it's an extra long video. But I hope you guys don't mind. And let's go ahead and get started in the tutorial. I'm starting off with the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I like my primers to be matte because I have oily skin. So I'm just going to put that in my T-zone. And for my foundation, I'm going to mix the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect with the Revlon Stick Foundation. Both of these have such good coverage and it's really great for oily skin as well so I'm just going to put the stick foundation first and then go in with the Milani one over the top and just blend all that out L'Oreal True Match Concealer. It's a medium to full coverage, but it's definitely buildable. I'm going to put this under my eyes, on my eyelids, and the center of my face, so chin, nose, and forehead, and blend it out with the same beauty blender from before. I'm just going to set pretty much my under eyes and wherever we put the concealer, so chin, nose and center of the forehead as well. This is my favorite powder and it is a Maybelline Shine Free. Oh my gosh, if you have oily skin, you will love this powder. My skin does not become oily and I can have makeup on for like eight hours and it still looks fresh and so nice. I highly recommend trying out this powder. And Leo woke up from his nap, so I'm gonna have to do my eyes with him in my hand. So that's a bit of a tricky one, but I'm gonna mix this really light pink with the warmer pink and I'm going to start off on my outer corner and go inwards once there's hardly anything left on my brush. I definitely want more depth in the outer corner today. And sticking with the same brush, I'm taking more like a lavender type pink mixed with another hot pink and I'm just going to do exactly the same thing starting at the outer corner and then going into the crease and bring it in, bringing it into the inner corner. I'll then go in with a big fluffy brush that has nothing on it and I'll just buff over everything so there's no harsh lines. 
Now I'm going to mix these two shades, so one's like a purple and one's a nice cranberry red and I'm using a different bl blending brush and I'm going to repeat the same process. So just pat it on the outer corner first and then slowly go in in circular motions and blend it out, but don't take it up too high. So you can see I just pat, 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 and then I go around in circular motions and slowly move into the crease as well. Just going in with the first brush that we use just to buff everything out. And then I'm taking this really dark purple with another brush and doing the same thing. I just want that depth in the outer corner. So I'm just going to pat that on, but I'm not going to blend with this brush. I will go back in with the second white hair brush that we used and I will blend with that one. And that has no extra product on it. As always, I'll go in with a big fluffy brush and blend over all the edges again. And then for the lid shade, I'm using this baby pink shade and I'm going to spray my brush with MAC Fix Plus. I do this with any shimmer because like you can see, it makes it so metallic and really makes it pop even more. And then going back with one of the white hair brushes, it doesn't really matter and I just want to blend out those edges so it's not like a distinct line and then I'm using my Laveri Cosmetics lashes and this is the style Brooklyn and they are absolutely stunning easy to use they're Australian owned you can use them up to 10 to 15 times and you can see what a difference they make in any eye look Then using a couple of the pink shades, it doesn't really matter which one, I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line with a fluffy brush and then I'll go in with one of the dark purples or a cranberry, I mix these two together and I'm going to take that on a flat definer brush and just run that along my lower lash line. I'm just putting some mascara on my lower lashes as well. This face palette by Melo Cosmetics, I have been using it ever since I got it and it is just amazing. So I'm going to use the bronzer shade obviously on my forehead and my cheekbones, I even do my jawline and this blush shade because it's like a coral pink, it's not going to counteract with the eyes. And for highlight, I just mixed both the highlight shades together because I couldn't pick. I'm using this L'Oreal lipstick shade 112. It's a nice nude pink. And I'm also going to set my brows with, um, it's actually like for flyaways on your hair, but I use it as brow gel and I've really, really been enjoying it. And yeah, that's pretty much the look. And that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.